up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna play with Lapras GX, that's right, Lapras is a deck that comes and goes and this time around it's back. Why is that? Because we're relying on Quagsire with the wash out ability. As often as we like during our turn, we may move a water energy from one of our bench Pokemon to one of our active Pokemon. In combination with Aqua Patch, we actually can get all the energies to Lapras straight away, so that's going to be very viable. Not only that, we are gonna rely on XP share, so sometimes if Lapras with 3 energy sees the discard pile, and if a couple of our Pokemon on the bench have XP share, we can get those energies to those bench Pokemon. And then of course with the ability Wash Out of Quagsire, we can get a Lapras set up in no time. So that's why this deck is definitely doing well. If you want to learn more about more uh, competitive decks that are doing well, be sure to check out my top 15 best decks in the current standard format video. The link should be in the description below. And this list is pretty straightforward. We try to get one hit KOs with Lapras using Blizzard Burn thanks to the 4 choice band. There's also Kukui in here because sometimes we need that extra 20 damage to hit for 210 damage. If uh, both of your Kukuis might be priced, you can also rely on the Sauna Blast of the Volcanium Prism Star. Also, Sauna Blast, uh, Volcanium Prism Star here also has the Jet Geyser ability. Once during our turn, we can discard a Water Energy and then uh, the opponent has to switch their active with one of their bench. An easy way to just get rid of the opponent's uh, main threat on the active position, but I can also get Water Energies in the discard pile. Our main uh, uh, draw support uh, actually is uh, gonna be Cynthia and Lily. So there's uh, three copies of each of those cards in here. And also, Brooklyn Hill can easily get out your Whoopers early game. We have, of course, Switch Raft, which switches the uh, uh, Water Active to uh, one of our bench Pokemon. So let's say you want to switch your Lapras. That could work out with Switch Raft. So this is a very, very solid list and uh, is doing very well at tournaments. So that's what we're going to test out today. Uh, this was a suggestion posted by uh, lovely subscribers like you guys. So if you have a suggestion of your own, be sure to put it in the comment section below. I'll be sure to take a look at it and uh, maybe I'll even make that deck. So we have a ton of decks to play with. Today it's going to be a Lapras GX Quagsire. Not only that, we are 9 days away from the pre-release of Lost Thunder, so I'm all already looking forward to making new decks, and of course you find that on this channel uh, on a daily basis, so be sure you are subscribed if you want to keep uh, noticed, uh, notified of what decks are doing well. We are facing Coco Spread Shenanigans deck, so that is going to be kind of difficult because they're gonna rely on Shrine of Punishment. But we have Brooklyn Hill to work with, and Brooklyn Hill can get rid of that nasty Shrine of Punishment. Here, the opponent will rely on the Flying Flip and then spreading a bunch of damage, finishing that up with the Tapu Lele, which is a magical swap attack to just put uh, the damage counters anywhere they like. So hopefully we will uh, be great with Lapras. I haven't tested Lapras uh, yet, so uh, if I'm making a couple of misplays, uh, that could happen. But I'm gonna try my best to showcase how the deck functions together with Quagsire. We lost the coin flip. Now you might think, ah, that is terrible. Well. The good news of going second is that we can rely on the attack collect of the Lapras to draw three cards. Hopefully we start with a Lapras, uh, that will help out a ton. Although if we don't start with Lapras, we can make use of the Switch Rat. Okay, let's get this going. Still uh, a mulligan here, so that is very, very sad because the opponent will get an extra card. And this is definitely going to be a spread deck. Spread deck versus Lapras. Who will win? The good news is that Lapras can hit consistently 160. We don't even need Kikui to do anything. But we can also spread ourselves with the Volcanium Prism Star. Maybe we should get that one out and then spread a bunch of damage on the opponent. Uh, together with the Kikui, we can uh, do some magical stuff. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully, we can get a first turn Lapras. And uh, yeah, we get that first turn Lapras so we can uh, rely on Collect. We also have Ultra Ball to get out more Pokemon that will probably be um, a little, little uh, whooper. And uh, we are weak to Grass, not weak to Lightning, so thank god there's that. Uh, the opponent gets a Mulligan and starts with a Lele on the active. That is a terrible start for the opponent because the opponent wants to rely on the top Bukoko with the Flying Flip to dish out more, a lot of damage early game. This might be stuck in the active, but the opponent might also run a couple of Guzma, so... Oh, this is Pessimian! I was wrong! Spread with uh, Pessimian, so... Lapras Pessimian brings back a lot of memories. I actually made a video, uh, Lapras vs Pessimian, way back in the early days of Sun and Moon. Just check that video if you want some nostalgic fevers, but for now, uh, Pessimian might hit for a ton of damage. Yo, copycat getting 6 cards, so it's uh, as good as, uh, of course, Cynthia. And uh, uh, yeah, he already has a Pessimian with uh, the, the DC, so next turn he can uh, use the team play. We get damage on ourselves, which uh, sucks to be on. So, first things first, I am going to give. One energy to Lapras, and then I'm also gonna rely on the Ultra Ball here. Switch Raft, I might might be necessary uh, XP share. I'm gonna get rid of XP share for now. Although, I want to get XP share still going. So I'm gonna get rid of these cards. And then I'm gonna get out a little Wooper. There we go. 
I should have checked what was priced, but maybe I'm gonna do that later. So the first thing I wanna check here is if I have a Quagsire. I definitely should have checked that, but I wanna go straight into this video with a bang. So let's go with Cynthia. Probably gonna get a search card after that, as mentioned here. Uh, the Okay, the Aqua patch is very, very solid. So in this situation, we will have to rely we have to collect here, so in that regard, I could just use the, the Ultra Ball, get rid of maybe two more water energies, and then we get out Oranguru. Do we get Oranguru out or a Tapu Lele? I don't want to get more uh, EXs or actually GXs out since Shrine of Punishment is in play. We need our Brooklyn Hill, so maybe this is the best strategy uh, that I can think of. So let's get this in town, get one of the Aqua Patches going on. So we can, of course, get that energy straightly to Lapras. So next turn, Lapras will be able to attack if we get, of course, our uh, Quagsire. Unless he uh, des destroys our Wooper. Okay, Brooklyn Hill, that is fine. That is just what I wanted to get rid of that Shrine of Punishment. And uh, with Brooklyn Hill, I, I am able to get out of Wooper. He is also able to get out his uh, Pessinian that way. But uh, Shrine of Punishment, getting rid of that was the most important part. So here comes the Collect for 3 cards. And uh, let's see, we hopefully draw a Supporter. And that is going to be Kukui and a Water Energy. So very, very... Uh, maybe we should have waited and uh, do something about it. But we still have access to Collect. So as soon as we get a Quagsire, we can attack. Hopefully we get that out of the Kukui. Choice Band as well. Maybe it's going to target... Okay, Shrine is back for another time to swing. Skateboard. And he will be able to hit some damage, so he didn't do that much in my opinion. He can uh, retreat for free and smack damage. That is going to be 60, actually 40, 70, 70 damage. 70 damage to our, to our Lapras. Might not seem uh, a lot, but uh, as soon as he gets more uh, Simians out, we might be in danger. So the Shrine is definitely kicking in here, and we draw into a Guzma. This Guzma is not what I wanted at all. Uh, hopefully this Kukui will be helpful. Let's check it out. We got Quagsire. So now you can see the full potential of how this deck functions, which is uh, something I wanted to showcase. So uh, the thing we do here is uh, we just get a manual attachment and with the wash out ability, we can just get that energy onto the Lapras. That is how the deck functions. So for now, let's get this uh, Blizzard Burn going on. That way we can get a full one hit KO and we will be good. He can also swing back with another Pessimian, which will be unfortunate, but at least, <laughs> wow, another Lapras. At least uh, Quagsire will be able to get one energy and uh, that is good. We also have Guzma, so maybe some Aqua Patches. We need Aqua Patches in order to just dish out some more damage. We have 90 HP remaining, so wow, another Pessimian here. If he just gets one Pessimian back and a DCE, it would be very, very dangerous for us. Definitely uh, because of that skateboard. So I cannot promise you guys we will win with Lapras, but I'm gonna showcase, uh, as you see, the, the, the potential of the deck. Oh, Energy Lotto failed. Oof, wow, counter energy. Okay, that is, wow. Well, uh, we're gonna get uh, a lot of damage thanks to this Pessimian. I don't know if we can just destroy it at once. We don't have anything to work with at the moment. Maybe we should have benched another Lapras, but it would have gotten also damage. How much damage are we dishing out? 120 times the amount of water energy attached to this but Oh, we are still alive! Can you believe it? So, wow, that is fantastic. I adore that. First things first, we're gonna just smack an Aqua Patch down. We can move it uh, with the Washout ability later. Maybe we should have attached it to something else. To one of the active. Well, yeah, we should have attached it to the Wooper so we can have some Guzma plays going on. Well, that happened. We can retreat. We don't have an energy to work. Wow. I think that was a little misplayed. I'm just gonna smack down another Lapras. Do I do that? Otherwise, we will be in a nasty situation. Wow, I should definitely uh, use the Aqua Patch on the Wooper so I can Guzma something out. If we retreat, we are gonna lose a ton of energies. Oh, wow. Doesn't even matter. We can use the uh, Washout and still do the play here. So. Just gonna target this Pessimian or Lele. Uh, we're gonna see the discard regardless, so let's use this. Doesn't even matter what energy where I attached it since we can use the washout ability. Get that energy uh, of the Quagsire onto the Wooper. And uh... Oh, actually now that I think about it, we can attack with the Quagsire as well. How cool is that? Yeah, our Lapras will die regardless, so... 
Uh, maybe we can save our energies here. Yeah, we're gonna put all those energies. Maybe we discarded one energy. That Guzma play was weird. As mentioned, I'm doing a couple of misplays since this is the first time. But you see the, the power that this uh, Quagsire has. So Quagsire can now attack. There we go. And... Yeah, I think that is fine. Maybe a Lapras here, I don't know. Still don't, I hate that Shrine of Punishment though. Bam! We got a prize card for that, so that's cool. We got an Ultra Ball, so at least we can uh, work with that. He will get two prize cards, and then he can also destroy our... Actually, his counter energy doesn't work anymore now. Hopefully he does uh, not draw into a double card as energy, otherwise we will be screwed. How much cards does he have in the hand? That is a lot. Our speed share also doesn't work, so I don't know if I made the correct plays here. We will lose three energies. Oh, it's Diancy Prism Star as well. Hopefully he does not have a double card as energy. We are equal in prize card. Okay, this is a... Uh, unit energy? He's gonna smack 50 damage to something. Okay, he didn't get a double card as energy, which is awesome for us because now he will... Or actually, he can use team play right now because they count as Carlos energy. Oh, wow, we are just definitely gonna get demolished here. <laughs> okay. Okay, couple of misplays, but yeah, Pacimian is very viable as it seems. Okay, Wooper, you're gonna have to do it. Come on. We got a Guzma. Not that it matters. Here comes Acrobike. We got a Quagsire. Not that uh, it will work here because we are gonna get violated. <laughs> we're gonna get violated so much. So we're just gonna put that Diancy stuck in the active for now. Gonna evolve. Hopefully. Energy. Do we use Aqua Patch right away? Because maybe we top deck an Ultra Ball and we're getting out of this nasty situation. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait with the Aqua Patch until we are ready. Although, with Instruct, we can do a lot of stuff. So let's do this. Let's use Instruct. So we are uh, on the ropes here with Lapras. We have an Aqua Bike to work with. Cool. We got a Choice Band, which is does not help in this matchup at all. Not at all. This Lapras doesn't do anything. We can get energies to this Oron Guru, but it doesn't matter at all. Okay, this is just gonna be a pass, unfortunately. So Lapras, eh, this doesn't seem like the best matchup. Pasimian against Quagsire Lapras. And Pasimian is doing well, like with Diancy and uh, with all those counter energies. So he is dishing out. For every Pistamian, 120 damage. That is just enough to one shot the Squaxire. He definitely needed that Diancy. But is he gonna get out of the active? I don't. Okay, DCE retreats. That could also work out to just get the damage rolling. And we are gonna get destroyed here. Another Cynthia. How many energies in this discard pile? Two DCEs. So as long as we, uh, we uh, don't fall behind in prize cards, or actually if he doesn't fall behind in prize cards, we might be able to do some stuff. And there is our uh, Quagsire, our lone Quagsire here. There's not a lot we can do at the moment. Okay, we have Acrobike. Let's see what we get. A Cynthia. Wow, that is perfect. That is just perfect. Let's get this Choice Band over here. Energy over here. He only needs two more prize cards. It's, I don't want to bench this Lapras. Although if he one-shots us, we will be in a difficult situation. Let's just bang the lab rest, whatever. Here comes Cynthia. We got Aqua Patch as well to work with. Bam. Hmm. Not a lot we can do, so we're just going to be a Hydro Pump. Bam, KO. So Quagsire is putting in a little bit of work, so we got a prize card. And he might be able to target our lab rest right now because he can have Guzma place. But we are still not behind in prize cards. Although try and punishment, but definitely have to get another Brooklyn Hill in place soon. I just want, didn't want to get donned here. Okay. These, wow, an energy onto the Pasimian, a great ball. 
This Pacific list is also fun. I mentioned this uh, as a little rogue deck, but uh, it looks like it's doing more than, than just that. I'm just happy I could uh, showcase how the Quagsire combination works with Labras, even though Shrine is annoying and uh, we don't seem to draw into our Brookwood Hills. Hopefully we can save ourselves a turn. We have Lele Guzma, so if we can just get rid of his uh, Pacific here, he won't be able to access his double card of energy and we will be fine. Although we get out another Tapu Lele here. Oh wow. Is he going to get a one hit KO? Gladion? Rescue Stretcher? I don't know what he wants for this Gladion. Hopefully he doesn't get out another Pacific here, otherwise we will be toast. Team play, we stay up. Oh no, we don't stay alive. 150 because we're an evolution Pokemon because of the power huddle ability. Okay. Wow. Now we are on the ropes. There's nothing we can do. No aqua patches. At least we have Brooklyn Hill to work it. But uh, it's not looking very promising to say the least. There's not even anything in our deck anymore. Okay. Have to get out Tapu Lele, there's no other way. Otherwise, he just destroys us. There's still one Gu uh, Guzma left, so that's cool. He can never rely on uh, counter energy anymore at this moment. So let's target this Diancy. We go like this and uh, just pass the turn. Hopefully, he is stuck. And hopefully, we draw into how many energies do we still have left? I think two? Two energies left. Cynthia will get us the energy and maybe a, we need a Guzman and energy at this point. Hopefully he is stuck in the active Pokenav. How many Guzmans? I haven't seen any Guzmans just yet, but that was the only possible solution here. Counter energies. Those counter energies will never ever work. So that is awesome. Just need to stall a little bit. Don't know if he runs Guzma or not. Definitely he runs Guzma. He's definitely gonna target Lapras, but if we get one energy and we are st back in the active, we will be awesome. He can also target Lele if he wants to. Very, very weird matchup. Maybe we can just manage to pull it up. Ah, oh, Shrine is back. Really? Nazball getting... Wow, this Pacimian list is doing more than I thought. Never, never underestimate Pacimian. Our Rescue Stretcher is also something we might use here. Still one Guzma left. This is a third shrine. Okay, Guzma, come on. Yeah, target the Lapras, which is fine. And then Joyce Band as well. Wow, we're gonna get a lot of damage here. So that means this counter energy. How many counter energies does he still have left? I don't know. Wow, okay. So here comes Acrobike. We get Brooklyn Hill, which is awesome. We're gonna smack down Brooklyn Hill. Let's gonna check the deck a little bit. What do we have? We want one water energy. There's one water energy right there. And Swish Trap is also something neat. So I definitely want that water energy right away. So I'm just gonna use Cynthia to draw six cards. Hopefully the energy is in there. We get the energy, which is awesome. We even have Switch Trap to work with. I wonder, I wonder. So we got energy over there. Rescue Stretcher. He only needs one more prize card. That is the, the sh shameful part of it. We're gonna shuffle three Pokemon back in, and that is going to be Quagsire entirely. Hopefully, this works out. <laughs> okay. Blizzard Burn. Whew! We managed to just get another knockout. I wonder if he gets another shrine here. We have another Lily to get this Guzma play going on, so that is awesome. Tapu Koko. If he spreads 20, that's okay. Acrobite. He still needs another attachment though. Two counters, so he still has access to a lot of counter energies. He gets rid of a counter energy. He uses energy lotto. Doesn't find anything. Another energy lotto, probably thinning out the deck for... Yeah, this is the DCE he wanted. Probably want to have his uh, Pissimian up. Oh, Deoxys! Wow, well played, sir. So uh, that was a very fun match with Lapras. And uh, we were, we will get destroyed by Deoxys. So this list is very solid. So uh, maybe we should check out Pissimian in the next video. Pissimian with Deoxys and all that shrine stuff. Okay, we got defeated. 
we uh, take our defeat like a, a true true man. We're doing that. We're gonna play another round to see. Uh, hopefully, we can get all uh, of these lap press combos out. Maybe I should have played something differently. I don't know. Today we're play facing shrine shrine stuff. Buzz Garp Shrine with McCargo. Presumably, so a lot of shrine decks are still being played. We're gonna say tails never fails, and we won the coin flip. That's awesome. Hopefully, this time around we will uh, do a little bit uh, better. Okay, we start with a Volcanian Prism Star. That's kind of okay. We just need to get a whoop route. That the good news is we don't start with Lapras against the Shrine deck, as seen uh, in the last video. Starting with a Lapras is nice, but that Shrine shenanigans does hurt a lot. Okay, Slugma, first things first, let that Brooklyn, Brooklyn Hill get out. And we get out the Whooper, how much one Quagsire in here, okay. And nine energy is cool. All the choice bands are in there, that's not cool. Let's get an energy over here. Or actually I want an energy in the discard pile. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of Kukuri is nice, I think, whatever. I want to get rid of that for now. I'm not gonna get another Whooper out. Kukui is in there. Okay. Let's get two Whoopers out. Because we have a Quagsire in the hand. And that Whooper, Quagsire is actually kind of a viable attacker. Here comes the Lily. Okay, that is a very nice hand. Energy over there. Speed share over here. Ultra Ball. Let's get rid of this and that. And we will grab Oranguru. Because we are dead drawing at the moment. We could also gotten out Lele, but I don't like getting out Lele's in a matchup like this. Let's go! Come on, supporter, supporter. Okay, switch raft, not the card I wanted, so uh, we're in a dead draw position. Didn't want to get my get out of my Lele, so just gonna have to wait a little bit. Volcanion does have a lot of HP, so we get Quagsire out. That means we have access to just put our energies wherever we want. Oh, Boswell GX is in play. Choice ban as well. Another choice ban. She's probably gonna use Lily. Okay, Lily for five. That's a lot of cards. This is gonna be Boswell Lycan Rock with my cargo. So we are in a dead draw position. The good news is we can evolve, we can use Switch Rap, and we can instruct. So hopefully we will get our stuff out soon enough. Switch, so here comes the amazing Jet Punch, 30 and 30. Wooper does have 70, which is good. So we uh, managed to survive. Okay, we got an energy. That's cool. We can have Switch Wrath, so we can heal. Hopefully we draw into an Aqua Patch at least. Energy of the turn, and we could Guzma out so we draw more cards. We only need one Aqua Patch though. Let's just get that uh, Slugma stuck. If we can get rid of that Slugma, it's already great. Come on! Ah, maybe I should have used Brooklyn Hill first. Oh well, we have another Quagsire and an Ultra Ball. I think in this situation it's not a Shrine deck, so the best plan of action is just to get our Lele out for a draw supporter. So we draw into that Aqua Patch. And uh, we're definitely gonna get a lot of damage on the board thanks to that Volcanian Prism Star. Okay, uh, Cynthia is the best plan of action, although Lily can also draw six cards at, in total. And what do we need? One Aqua Patch. There's three of them in there. Hopefully we draw it. If we don't, it's gonna be eh. Actually, we already used the supporter, so Lily is gonna be for next turn. Also gonna use Brooklyn Hill, getting out a Lapras. I'm just gonna wait with the Lapras. Otherwise, he will target that. Uh, I don't think he can do anything about it. So, that was kind of a misplay using a Lele right now since I already used the supporter. Guess uh, my head is still not doing too well after covering 15 top decks in the format. Dianti is in town. He is stuck with Slugma, so he's definitely gonna have to rely on, of course, a Jet Punch. Probably gonna get rid. Okay, Gargo is in play now. Does he have a switching card? He already used a switching card on his last turn, so probably gonna have to rely on Guzma now. Tapu Lele Guzma would be fantastic since Lapras is just uh, loving the HP of 190. Energy to the Rockruff. Is he gonna rely on Cynthia or is he going to... Okay, smooth over. 
probably has a, a card like Lily in the hand to draw car the card that he put on top, does he run multiple switches? That is the question. I wonder, smooth over here, maybe for next turn. We have a Lillian hand, so that's at least comfortable. Maybe a Cynthia would have been better, but whatever. Now he's definitely having a throw line. Okay, Lily here. Hopefully he doesn't have another switch in his deck. Escape rope could also work in his favor. I wonder. There's also six prize cards. Actually, six cards prized. So maybe the slug Macargo will be stuck. Okay, Macargo is stuck in the active. I adore that. Okay, we have the option between Lily and Cynthia, so we're just gonna use the Instruct first. We got a water energy that's fantastic, and now we're gonna rely on the Cynthia. That is great. So we also have Aqua Patches to work with. So in that regard, don't, he's definitely gonna eat up our Lele. Acro bike, we get Ultra Ball. Not gonna rely on another Lele. We can also use Brooklyn Hill to get out of the Labras. First things first, we're gonna use the Wash Out ability. Getting one energy to the Volcanium Prism Star, so we're dealing 20 on everything, which is solid. Also gonna rely on some Aqua Patches here. One Aqua Patch over here. And then one Aqua Patch over there. Not gonna rely on the Lapras here. We have Guzma in hand. Guzma's a perfect plan here. Hmm. We're gonna wait with the Ultra Ball, just gonna let the opponent do some stuff. Yeah, Quagsire can attack for 120, with a Choice Band is uh, 150, still not enough though, we need a Kakui. There's one Kakui in the discard pile, do we smack down Le Lapras right now? If he uses Dangerous Rook, he's definitely gonna go after our uh, Tapu Lele regardless, so let's smack this down. And then, uh, just go with the Sauna Blast, bam! That is nice, getting rid of a McCargo while dealing 20 on everything. Loving that Prism Star card. So now the opponent has to choose. He can uh, one-shot Volcanium Prism Star, he can one-shot Quagsire, or he can one-shot a Labras. I don't even care what he decides to do, we have access to a whole lot of resources. With Brooklyn Hill, we get out another Labras in time. We have access to wash out to get all the energy. So if he doesn't knock out Volcanium Prism Star, we keep our energies in play. He does not go after, actually, if he goes after Lapras, that's good. So we keep our energies, we can retreat and stuff. So Guzma plays Whooper, and it's going to Jet Punch. Cool. That means we have access to Lapras. So he gets one prize card. Lapras can get all the energies he wants. The only thing we need is a Choice Band. Is it hard to get a Choice Band if you fill up your entire bench and draw cards? I don't think so for now, just get an energy over here. I'm gonna wait with that, just gonna get out Brooklet Hill, another Lapras. Energy's in the discard pile, one, so one energy comes over here. We have Guzma plays which we can work with. I'm gonna get rid of that Ballswold, I'm not afraid, although... Little Rockruff here can uh, has 200, 180, so that's cool. We only need choice bands right now. XP share is nice. Let's put an XP share on Tapu Lele, Oranguru. Let's put it on Oranguru. And for now, Ultra Ball. Nah, let's go for a good old Lily. Come on, Choice Band, where are you at? Okay, Choice Band is here, ladies and gentlemen. That means we can use the Wash Out ability, getting energies from Volcanium Prism Star to the active. Also gonna use the Wash Out from the Quagsire, and we are gonna put it on Lapras. Also another Acrobike XP share, another one. That's cool. Gonna give an XP share to the Tapu Lele. He can also target our Quagsire, but we still have. Eh, doesn't even matter too much. Though, could be very crucial here. We could Aqua. Hmm. I think this is just fine. Blizzard Burn getting a KO. I'll gladly take that. And if he doesn't, if he wants to knock out our Quagsire, then Lapras has another free shot. So Quagsire is in a perfect position right now. Also, we have access to Volcanium Prism Star to just spread around some more damage, which is awesome. So, 
As you see, the list does work. Our first matchup was a little bit eh against Pastimian, but uh, I do have a lot of hopes for Lapras and uh, the future tournaments since Blacephalon GX will become more viable. It is weak to water, so Lapras still doing well. He's definitely gonna get a Lycanroc this turn, but if he destroys our Lapras, all the energies go onto the uh, Tapu Lele and onto the Oranguru. If he will not one shot with Quagsire, we have another free shot with, Quack, uh, with Lapras. So we're in ideal position. Beast energy has 80. Beast ring. Okay. He has access to Beast ring. How? Ah, this is a Rainbow Rare Boss Wall GX. He will retreat and get the Knuckle Impact going, or maybe Absorption GX. Wow, a Kukui as well. Maybe you can rely on Lycan Rock. I don't know. We still need another uh, choice band. How many choice bands in our discard pile? Zero. So the chances of us drawing a choice band out of that Ultra Ball Lily place is ginormous. This is going to be Absorption GX. Probably gonna see. I would guess Knuckle Impact because he still has access to the Dangerous Road GX if need be. The discard pile of him. Yeah, kind of. That was cool, knocking out the cargo with that Volcanium Prism Star. So we see the discard, don't even mind at all. Choose an energy to move. We're gonna move it to the... Okay, he can see it's because another Lapras was coming. So as you see, Lapras is uh, solid. Be sure to check it out uh, for yourself. Be sure to demolish the like button if you enjoyed the content. Subscribe for more and have a fantastic rest of your day, guys. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>